dawn of man, we have searched for the next best thing. When the wheel was developed, humankind began a quest for the optimization of this technology. It is fundamental human nature to expand thoughts into reality. In this quest, mankind has developed a tool to actually project their visions into reality. This technology is a projector. The harnesser of this technology was Thomas Armat. This man gave the gift of projection to the world and forever changed cinema. In 1895, an idea was hatched by Mr. Thomas Armat and his partner Charles F. Jenkins. Their idea was named Levitoscope, and it was the first projector that utilized film, leading the way for future generations. After meeting and collaborating at the Bliss School of Electricity in Washington, the two made a deal to take equal credit for the invention. However, the terms of the agreement were not clearly defined. Armat and Jenkins needed funding to produce their invention, so they approached Thomas Edison in the hopes of gaining his financial support. Jenkins, however, had a hidden agenda. He wanted to take all of the credit for the projector idea. Armat caught wind of this historic side note, and after a long argument, the two ended their partnership only to become bitter enemies. Regardless of Armat and Jenkins' conflict, the technology had already fallen into the hands of one of the 19th century's greatest inventors, Thomas Edison. It was his promotion of this invention and the money that he put into its development that gave us the projectors that we know and love today. These powerful projecting behemoths have allowed the entertainment industry to expand its horizons beyond Armat and Jenkins' wildest dreams. In fact, it is these projecting behemoths today which are the reason that screaming FIRE in a theater is illegal. We sat down with Manuel Pignon to get the scoop on projectors. The projectors are huge. Like, they run literally from the ceiling to the floor, all the way. And if something were to happen to one of them, like the, the fan will go up. It'll overheat, pop the light, catch fire, then caught fire before too. The film is really, really sensitive. It just comes in a little strip and typical stuff, you know. And the fans. The superpowered fan on the bottom blows the cool air up into the light, cooling it, and then the superpowered fan on top just sucks it all out. The film running through the light, the reason it's important is the heat involved. When the film gets stuck or it doesn't show right, it will overheat, catch fire, and the whole thing will catch fire. Things pop out of place, it has to stay popping a five foot roll, just, you know, film is thick. You pile it up and sure enough you get your movie and it's about, you know, four feet wide, pretty heavy. Those things pop out of place, it's pressure, it's sensitive. Um, the machine you're running through has to, um, every certain amount, like every eight clicks, it has to be on a certain one for the volume to be correct. Stuff like that. Um, working there, I mean, we build film up, we chop it down. When they're done, we gotta send the movie back and it comes in five reels. We have to tie those five reels and each one's 90 feet. So we gotta tie them all together. And the one big old film would be, you know, two and a half hours long, two hours long, depending on how long you want. All film is the same. Cartoons come with regular James Bond movie films. You know? The ink is what you don't wanna to touch. Hairs get on it, fibers, just dust from being up there will mess it up. Projectors are amazing devices, but have they really changed anything? The answer is a resounding yes. Projectors have revolutionized the film industry and have changed the way that we view free time. It's, it's a way for people to escape, you know. It's like a stress relief. People go there just to get away from the family, get away from the kids. Go to, just to have a good time with each other. I mean, a movie is just like a story. It's easier for people to escape. They don't have to read. Done quicker, two hours. Technology is constantly evolving in this world, but what is the value of a new gadget if there is no one to reflect on how far we've come? The next time you go to the movies, remember, you are a part of a technological revolution the likes of which have never been seen.